Okay, got an interesting uh, rule here that I'm going to show off um, that I probably should have been using earlier. I don't know if it actually had happened in any situation before, but uh, definitely is going to happen here. Um, so this game is a rule for something called an automatic uh, defender shattered. If you can um, move a stack, like first and second panzer here, uh, next to a unit, and that stack is at 10 to 1 odds over the unit adjacent to it, then this unit automatically becomes defender shattered. What that means uh, is that every unit in that stack takes a step loss and then must retreat. So since this happens in the movement phase, um, this unit will now be destroyed. And uh, the stack here gets marked with an auto DS so they can advance uh, later in the combat phase. But what this helps here for uh, our drive to the west is that now that hex is open. So 10th motorized here, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Go next to an HQ, which must retreat two hexes and become inactive. And then 10th uh, motorized can continue its movement one more hex for 7. And there you go. So, can really speed across the map using that if the French can't get some sort of solid defense together. And um, an auto DS can be assisted by troop quality and uh, an armor shift. So, in these open hexes here, without uh, really any force or anything to negate the armor shift, um, there could be a lot of auto DS results and we could be at the coast in. Uh, very short amount of time, so very, uh, very neat rule. All right, here we are at the start of turn eight, which is uh, May twentieth. So, here's the situation we have here. Uh, the Germans have yet to move at all on this turn, so um, they will be at Cambrai um, come the end of their movement, and really not that far from the uh, English Channel so it looks like they're gonna make it this is all the French could muster to kind of throw in front of their path here um, not some bad units here but it's not gonna be enough to stop uh, the Panzer divisions I don't think um, Germans have been really successful with the uh, uh, GQG markers here to stop um, the heavy tanks from uh, getting where they need to go and really their uh, low movement allowance on heavy tanks has not helped at all either um, so what the Germans have done to combat de Gaulle as well he's uh, immune to the GQG markers so the Germans have made sure to always have a, uh, a unit next to him so he has to pay um, two plus movement points to leave a zone of control at the start of pretty much every turn since he's been on the board. Uh, the French probably should have tried to hold him in reserve. Um, he really hasn't had any impact on the game because of uh, constantly being in a zone of control. Um, down there south here, just trying to hold the line. And uh, I actually see a gap here now that I didn't notice as the French before. so. The Germans can slip right through and come down here and uh, maybe go go for this uh, entry hex here, which is worth uh, some extra victory points. Um, again, another GQG marker on this uh, heavy tank, which has probably from here to there in uh, three turns or something like that. So very slow going for the French tanks. Um, I said we've got tons of panzers pushing through here. Um, Rommel may even join them. Uh, just go for an all-out push through the center here. It's really tough for the French to counterattack um, because the supply rules are fairly loose. Uh, so even if you can cut off a section, um, still likely to be able to find a trace back to a, a supply source. Um, now, speaking of the supply rules, 
We've got some French and Belgians here who are uh, pocketed now, and the Namur um, forts as well. Uh, I think the French held out too long around Namur to try and be a bit of a headache, and now it's turned into a headache for them. Um, the dial line's fallen apart, and they're being forced back uh, very quickly here as well. Hopefully they can hold on this uh, river line for a little while longer, but it's taken a lot of manpower to uh, hold all this force back. There's a ton of infantry in this area. Um, the Germans just look unstoppable so, so far, so... I think I could have done better as the French, though. So, definitely would like to play this again. I'm going to keep going and see if the Germans can't make it to the channel. I think they will. Uh, here's the uh, dead pile for up to uh, turn 8. Um, there's yet to be a full German unit in this pile. Just tons and tons of French. Um, we got four of those smaller tank units, two fort infantry. There is one, two, three, a ton of infantry, three cavalry, and even some uh, remnant counters there. Uh, along with all the dial line um, fortifications and a lonely little Belgian. So it's been pretty one-sided in terms of casualties. Uh, the Germans have been able to spread theirs out what little they've had anyways. So, for example, um, most of 5th Panzer, actually all of 5th Panzer is reduced. So they're still quite effective though. Uh, I think we've got some more here in uh, first and second there's also some losses underneath those guys but uh, definitely been one-sided with uh, with the losses in this game